Arthur Tyndall was awarded a scholarship at the University College of Bristol for chemistry and physics in 1898. Over the next 50 years, he climbed the ranks until eventually holding the position of acting vice-chancellor of the entire Bristol University in 1948 when he retired. According to Thomas Loveday, Tyndall did more for the university than any other person in the first half of the 20th century. For example, when Tyndall joined the college in 1898, it only had 23 lecturers sprinkled over a handful of buildings. Through his personal relationship with the notable businessman H.H. H. Wills, Tyndall secured a total of £400,000 to both make Bristol an official university, as well as build an entirely new physics laboratory. At the time, this was the largest in the UK. That sum would be worth over £32 million in today's money. Not only did Tyndall make enormous contributions to the evolution of the university itself, but as a lecturer and professor, he helped develop the minds of many young physicists. Notable individuals include Neville Mott and Cecil Powell, who both received Nobel Prizes for physics. Bernard Lovell was another one of these scientists. He attended one of Tyndall's lectures as a schoolboy and was so inspired he dedicated his life to physics. This resulted in him developing the world's largest steerable radio telescope in the 50s. Finally, another Nobel Prize winner, Paul Dirac, was a successful theoretical physicist taught by Tyndall himself. Tyndall continued his good work by securing grants for the German PhD students fleeing Nazi Germany in the 30s. One of these students was the Nobel Prize winner Hans Berth. I know what you're thinking. Why hasn't he got a knighthood? And you'd be right. With all of his achievements, a knighthood was almost guaranteed. Unfortunately, another among these students was Klaus Fuchs, who later received notoriety as a Cold War spy for the Soviet Union. This is understood by many to be the reason why Tyndall never received a knighthood. Arthur Mannering Tyndall was a man who lived for the achievements of others, putting aside his own pride to aid the progression of Bristol University and physics as a whole.